What's going on, guys? Welcome to another modern video here on YouTube or Twitch, wherever you may be watching this. I'm your host, Frank. And uh, I'd like to go into uh, yesterday. Yesterday we had Mike on stream. He got a little too blitzed. Um, he went a little hard. And I asked him why. I was like, why did you drink so much? And he was like, well, I wanted to make, I wanted to entertain the people. And I was like, okay, well, that's, that's, that's noble, but it's not the best reason. Um, he ended up throwing up about six times last night in multiple places. Uh, we got him to the bathroom for the first time. He threw up like six times. Uh, he was like, yeah, I'm feeling better now. We can go get some food, get some whatever. I'm like, let's just order some pizza. I don't think we should be going out. Let's just go get, I'll just order some food. So I ordered us pizza. <clears throat> Uh, he took, he took, like, he had, like, maybe one slice, and then he threw up most of it. Um, and then he's like, all right, now I'm good. Now I'm good. And I'm like, all right. And our, our roommate, Felipe, was like, hey, do you want to go get some, some Dairy Queen? We'll get some ice cream or something. Uh, just to get out, get some fresh air, whatever. And, uh, he's like, <clears throat> he's like, yeah, I think I should be good as long as I'm not driving. And I'm like, no, you're definitely not driving. So I drove, we went to Dairy Queen. Uh, two minutes after we get in the car, he's like, I'm not doing so good. And I'm like, should I pull over? And he's like, yeah. So I pull, <laughs> pull over, more throw up. Uh, <clears throat> I think he's doing better now. I think he's still sleeping now. So uh, that was something. I've never seen him drink that much. So I was quite surprised. Uh, if I if I have if I can have if anything to do with it, I will prevent him from drinking that heavily in the future. I don't I don't foresee that taking place again. But that was uh, quite the experience. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Anyway, today we're looking at a deck, uh, submitted by Haj Gulashi, a uh, long time subscriber and a uh, fan of the stream. And it is a black, white monster mentor deck with, uh, things like a ghostly prison. And, uh, we have some Luminarch Ascension in the sideboard, interestingly enough. So it's basically like trying to take advantage of all the decks in modern that have, uh, very, very, they're very light on land. And uh, have like big creatures. Like, oh, I have Death Shadow, but I only have like three lands in play. So maybe Ghostly Prison holds them back a little bit. Uh, we're playing Oust over Path because Path will obviously ramp them to lands to, uh, to get around Ghostly Prison, which is not ideal. Uh, we have Wall of Omens just to just to hold hold back them some early threats. We have uh, Restoration Angels to flicker them, and uh, you know, or flicker and Orzhov Pontiff things like that. Archangel of Ty is also pretty interesting. Three five for four. Uh, if it's untapped. It has a ghostly prison effect. Creatures can attack you unless they pay one. Uh, if it's attacking, creatures can't block unless they pay one. So, you know. <clears throat> and we also have Lingering Souls, things like that. Orzhov Pontiff and Gideon are both very, very good with pumping Lingering Souls. So, let's find out what we can do. Let's. Yeah. Yeah, so Mike definitely has a tequila story now. All right, I'm out of. I'm going to be out of tickets in no time. So I'm very curious to see how this deck does. I like a lot of the cards in it. <laughs> I know an archangel of titties when I see one. Mm. I'm a I'm a I'm a Campbell fan. Neon Tokyo Rain, congrats on five months, buddy. Well done. Oh, I actually like this hand despite not having black mana. Which makes me wonder how our black mana looks. Pretty good, pretty good. 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's a very good amount. I also really like Vault of the Archangel and Westvale Abbey just as like some utility lands. And for a black-white deck, our requirements are not that heavy. <clears throat> so that's good. I think it's actually pretty okay. <coughs> but my god, last night was a... The, the comedy was real. Also, um, we ended up watching Avengers Infinity War while Mike sobered up. So that was good times. Lana War Elf, eh? Undreamt Tuna. What's going on, buddy? <clears throat> you just missed our... Our Mike story. Uh, 
Uh, I have no Infinity War 2 theories, actually. They can pretty much do anything. I also don't like theory. I don't like theory crafting because, like, the odds of them being correct are so slim. Like, it's never going to happen. Like, my exact theory is never going to be right. And, uh, <clears throat> that just kind of defeats the purpose for me personally. All right. I would like some, some swamps at some point, some black mana at some point. I think Wall of Omens has good art. Uh, it's it's all right. It doesn't really, <clears throat> it doesn't wow me. I'm never like, well, I want to really have this Wall of Omens art on my walls, my on my wall. I don't want to have a Wall of Omens in my home. You know what I mean? Actually, I wouldn't mind that if someone's like, here, I got you this Wall of Omens print. I'd be like, all right, that's pretty cool. I'll hang it. Okay, this is a lot of things happening, and I'm not really comfortable with it. Austin Blaze, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Three gentlemen. Really? You want to play Llanowar Elf or uh, Elvish Mystic or anything like that? Boy, we could really use a... Uh... Can I get a Ghostly Prison one time? An oust, huh? Hmm. All right, we're going to mentor our wall, wall of omens here. Hopefully hit a land followed by a wrath of some sort. Black card, not what we're looking for. I'm going to put this dude two down because... I don't need you drawing that again. Yeah, now we're in rough shape because we have to draw a fourth land and a sweeper of some sort. I do like this old school uh, Elves of Deep Shadow, though. <clears throat> All right, Mystic. Sounds good. Heritage Druid, yes. I like Mentor into, like, Fatal Push. That could be good. Arch Druid. No, that is not ideal. How about Marsh Flats? Marsh Flats would be an ideal draw. We go get a Swamp. We Fatal Push this guy. We Mentor make a dude. Come on, Marsh Flats. Wall of Omens number three. <clears throat> we really just have to keep playing these to get our to hit land drops. I will also take a Marsh Flats now. We did it. Boys and girls, it was one away. <sighs> cha cha cha. And we're just probably gonna get a swamp here because let's be real. I would love to play Men's Store, men, men store here, but uh, unfortunately that is not... We can just do the same thing next turn and kill the Elvish Clan Caller, which we know you have in hand. So we can block three of these guys. We'll probably take about six. But then we get two more bodies on the board, and we get... It's going to be Clan Caller. Yep. <clears throat> we get two more bodies on the board, and we get to kill the Lord, so... Block three, block two, block two. Glad to finally be able to access my Twitch so I can subscribe to you on my first subscription. I love the great content and thank you for all the draft streams. You improve my M19 drafting ability a lot inside, uh, not when you were playing that. Inside, not when. Why are you. Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> I missed the inside, not. Oh, uh, but I, I get the why are you. Why are you playing Resto Angel on a non angel deck? That's. That's good stuff. I am a, such a big fan of uh, the all the stream memes that exist here. <clears throat> all right, we're playing this guy. My God. Why do people incorrectly play walls in a non-wall deck? I don't understand. Uh, excuse me, chat. Mm, chat, yes, may I grant your attention, chat? I have a quick question. Um, I noticed there is a streamer here, and I'm wondering why streamers incorrectly play Monastery Mentors in non-Monastery Mentor decks. Anyone? Anyone. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, kill this thing. Make all the things. <clears throat> ah, note. That makes much more sense. Side note makes much more sense than side not. I like it. So now they have six dudes. We have five dudes. 
I feel okay with what's happening right now. Unfortunately, I presume they're going to unload their hand here. All right, Heritage Druid is gone. So Inquisition is going to be less valuable. Oh, no, don't be another... God, why do they never run out of these? Oh, my God. Block you. Block you. Block you. All right, they actually do have a card in hand, which is nice. Uh, now they have one, two, three, four. We actually should have waited to... We could have waited, but then they could actually activate this. And that seems worse. So... <laughs> M19 does not bring the best out of them. Um, I think it does most of the time. I think it's that one match where I, I can't win because every every single M19 draft I, day, I do, I get a... <clears throat> I get to lose one round to things. Um, do you just take four here? That seems bad. I really don't want to throw away Monastery Mentor. I'm probably just going to throw this guy away. We don't have any instants, which is really the issue. So, like, if we had a way to pump this guy during their turn, I'd probably keep it. It'd be more valuable. You may remember me probably, but not on the random guy message on NCG. I was going to give you a Jace because I thought you hadn't pulled one. In. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. That was an awesome gesture, buddy. Block with a little dude. Well. Oh, wow. Double Mentor? Yeah, we're just going to do that. And then we get to take your last card, presumably, which I think is a Llanowar Elf, if my math is correct. Oh, Elves of Deep Shadow. Did you play Land of Elf? Probably. Boy, I'm bad at this game. <clears throat> so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, we actually... Attacking seems bad here. Perfect fits. What are you saying, buddy? Did you say something up here? Is there a schedule for when Legacy Cube comes back? I have no idea when Legacy Cube comes back. They're pretty, they're pretty tight-lipped with when their cubes, when their specific cubes are coming back. Wow, this is amazing. Act now to get Frank Lavore's all-new G theme blues album, including the smash hit title track. If it weren't for Mana Screw, I wouldn't get no, I wouldn't get no screw at all. You don't want to come in here with this guy? All right, well, all right. Well, we're just gonna double block here. We're just gonna try to wipe your board a little bit. If we had any removal spell for this guy, oh my god, the blowouts would be so real, dude. <clears throat> I guess we're taking four. God, do we want to save one of these guys, though? Probably. Yeah, I want to save one Monastery Mentor. I'll take six and go to two life. Oh, gross. Ugh. Oh, come on. Why no Twitch Prime sub? Perfect, perfect fit. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, even though it did not did not pop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If they're only going to attack with f six. If we're going to have five blokers. Oh god, this is actually going to make one dude, not two. What we can do is resto. Hope we hit a land. And it has to be like a land that comes into play untapped, isolated, swamp. So we have draws. We're not dead. <clears throat> swamp. Just basic sw Oh my god. The This is so brutal. I feel like we're so close yet so far here. Alright, well anyway. That would have... No, that wouldn't have done it. Um. Alright, so... Damping Spear almost seems like it should come in, but... Legacy keeps September 5th through the 28th? That's weird. Because they're having the the Pro Tour Cube on, the four, on August 14th or something. So, is it just like a month and a half of cubes? <clears throat> yeah, where did you find that, chat? I'm really curious.
So Cube Spotlight goes from August 15th through the 22nd. Wow, that's very short. Okay, well, that makes sense then, I guess. All right. That's stupid. I really don't like how the Cube Spotlight's only a week. Yeah, that's silly. All right, anyway. <clears throat> I'll just have to make sure I get a bunch of them in. Um, yeah, no sideboard cards for Elves whatsoever. Um... Brutality is actually probably pretty good. Probably better than Oust here, I would imagine. I also don't hate Damping Sphere, but what are you, you going to do? <clears throat> uh, Wrath of God in hand? Snap Keep. Sneep. I you need a Cuban sandwich for the first cube draft, especially because... Yeah, but I don't eat pork, so that'd be a little awkward. <clears throat> Cuban sandwiches actually strike me as the thing I'd really enjoy, except they have, like, three kinds of pork in them. And I'm like, oh, that's sad. Nah, no big deal. No worries, sir. Why don't I eat pork? Oh, uh, I like pigs more than I like meat. <clears throat> I feel like this is a this this is a question I go over a lot. Um, I wanted to own a pig maybe 15, 16 years ago, um, and at that point I realized you know because they're actually smarter than dogs, and I realized I can't really reconcile eating an animal uh, that I would consider a pet. <clears throat> and since then I've just gotten I've had stronger opinions on animals. I'm a big animal fan, and um, I think for the minimal experience of tasting an animal, um, I don't think that's justification enough to end something's life. Um, for a taste, literally just the taste of something, like that seems like a real uh, tiny reward for something. Um, that being said, I'm not a complete vegetarian. I do eat poultry sometimes, um, which is just a compromise I've made with myself because it's just it's a convenience thing. Um, but I don't eat a lot of meat, so... But I also don't, I don't judge people for eating meat. Like, I'm not like, you shouldn't eat meat because of this, that, that. You know, you do what you do. I'll do what I do. And, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. I think pigs are cute. I think pigs are like dogs. And, uh, you know, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to get into it because people have really strong feelings on that. And then, like, everyone starts making bacon memes uh, because, you know, America has this weird heart on for bacon. It's very strange. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. No big deal. You guys eat what you eat. I'll eat what I eat. And, uh, what is an amazing vegetarian dish that you think? Not? I think eggplant is actually amazing in a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> eggplant is like the, the meat of the vegetable world. Um, I also think most Indian dishes made with paneer, uh, is, are insane. Just fantastic. Best part about pigs is they help you get rid of the bodies. That is a uh, that's a nice snatch meme right there. Didn't you have beef with me at dinner in February? I definitely did not. I have not eaten beef in like f fifteen years. Also, I don't mind if you guys offer me things. <clears throat> Bacon culture is a real paneer. Is uh, it's like Indian cheese. It's like a it's like a it's kind of like a cottage cheese, but it's I think cottage cheese has like kind of negative like kind of weird connotations to it. I actually don't get down with mushrooms. I'm actually... The, the mushrooms have a weird texture to me. But, to be fair to mushrooms, I don't think I give them a proper chance. I would probably... Uh, I bet I could grow to like mushrooms. Also, if you guys have not... If you guys are ever interested in trying a... Uh, like a, like a non-meat burger... The Impossible Burger and the Beyond Meat Burgers are both absolutely insane. Um, I've had people who who are you know big meat fans eat Impossible Burgers, and they're like, "This is pretty ridiculous." Uh, 
Uh, if there's no meat, then it's not a burger. I, I disagree with you 1,000%. Oh, the eating it isn't impossible. What's up, Kellen? I imagine blending mushrooms would actually probably change the texture. Yeah, like, so I've had mushrooms in, um, like, P.F. Chang's and Payway, those kind of restaurants. They have um, uh, Thai lettuce wraps, and they're actually fantastic. And the mushrooms are, like, they're, like, mixed in with everything. And I, I don't even notice it. I'm just like, this is great. This is delicious. You don't hate pork, your judgment is fault. Wow, that's amazing. I like that. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what this is the one thing I dislike about meat culture is because like if you don't eat a certain type of meat or like if you don't consume a specific animal, like you get like this weird kind of shaming. It's very strange. <clears throat> and it's all fun and games. Like I get I get like it's just a joke, but like as someone who hasn't eaten meat for like 20 years, like it gets old. Like it's kind of like, yeah, I know, man, I get it. You eat you eat this specific type of meat. I don't. I get it. Like it's I know, I'm I'm a I'm a weirdo. I don't eat this meat that you eat. It's I get it. Like at a certain point, it's just like, okay, it's it, this is where the eye roll comes from. You're just like. Yeah, I know. I know. Bacon's God. Bacon's king. You, you can't let you got to get a suit in your closet made of bacon. I get it. <clears throat> Let's take this arch through. Actually, oh, double. Uh, well, only single. Wow, abrupt decay. That's interesting. All right, I'm going to get back on track because I don't want to keep. Uh... Mike did survive that night. We went through a whole rant about it. Um, arch through is probably just better, right? Actually, if we take the abrupt decay, like we can just let them. Oh God, I really want this collective company. Hmm. I'm so sorry for starting this conversation. Eventually, some of what my food eats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fantastic! It's a good meme. We have a good time. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna take the shaman because like it's not a card that I care if they have on board. It's just a card that one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, that I don't want them casting out of nowhere and dealing us a million points. Uh, so I guess it doesn't matter what we play. We'll just play Wall of Omens. Why is that weird to you though, Matthewry? Like that doesn't make sense. Why that's weird. Oh man, you guys want to play some magic? Let's uh, let's play some Magic: The Gathering. What happened? They played Guiltleaf Palace. They revealed Heritage Druid. Okay, so these are the five cards you know about, and then whatever you. Oh, didn't you draw the? No, we got rid of the Guiltleaf Palace. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> but how do you poop? <laughs> uh, yeah, like I don't know how to, I don't know how you how you exist without eating. Why didn't they play anything? Oh, they're gonna just collect a company EOT. Yeah, that makes sense. If you can't imagine a world without beef, that's super, that's such a weird outlook. You're that dependent on something, like a taste of something? That's so weird to me, man. Like, all it is is taste, right? Like, once it hits your stomach, like, it could be substituted with any different kind of protein. It's literally just a taste of something. That's so weird. That kind of, wow, that, hitting Heritage Druid and Elves Deep Shot off of Collective Company is not, not ideal.
Yeah, I meet more people who are like, you don't eat this meat? What are you, some kind of weirdo? I meet way more people like that than people who are like, I'm a vegan and this is why you should be vegan. I mean, like a thousand more times. Every day I come into contact with someone who's like, God, I wish I just had a big old piece of meat right now. I'd, I'd kill a cow right in front of you. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, can you take it easy? Like, trying not to sound like an absolute maniac. I, I come into way more contact with those people. Exactly. Confirm. We're gonna put a tube and funnel in your mouth and down your gut and fill it with ground beef. Yeah, please. Let's not. Let's not do that. Please don't kill any lentil plants right in front of me. I, I prefer to avert my eyes. Poor lentils. Yeah, this is or this is exactly the situation. So they played Clan Caller, they played Collected Company, they played. Uh, did they play the Heritage Druid? I don't know. They played the Arch Druid for sure. So we know they have at least these these two cards in hand, right? I think they put the Heritage Druid into no. They they put these two into play with the Collected Company. So they played these three. All right. I bet we can get in there for two, right? Probably not. I think we just wipe the board. Attack with a Gideon. What are they adding two mana in response? All right. Oh, that they were going to kill my, my token if I made a token? Yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, we're not doing that. We're attacking you for five. And then they're like, oh, dang it, my mana got wasted. Heritage Druid came down. Come on down. I'm really tempted to just make an emblem here. I think we're going to do it. And then we're going to go one of these jobbies. Boop. Oh, Black and this guy. Boop. So many boops. Then we're just going to oust this because I don't really feel like having you go ham. And it'll just guarantee you're going to draw that junk next turn. Did they take a point off Elves Do Shadow just to threaten the, the Erupt Decay? That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Um, I feel like we're just going to play it. Just play it, play it, play it. Um, the only thing I would change so far is Inquisition might want to be Thoughtseize. There's no really reason to not be Thoughtseize. Especially when Thoughtseize can hit things like Collected Company in the format. That is my initial uh, my initial thought here. I'm gonna keep this hand for obvious reasons. We're gonna save this marsh flats in case we want a fatal push and elvish arch druid or two. <laughs> I also like Orzov Pontip in this matchup a lot. Did you actually tell Hodge Galashi that they should be Thoughtseize instead of Inquisitions? Because that's pretty hilarious. The bacon is life dudes are the worst, man. Oh my god. So here's one thing I dislike. And I'm just going to say this real quick. and Because I, I feel like you guys might actually agree with me. 
when people look at an animal, like someone posts a cute animal on their Facebook page or whatever, and it's like, hey, this animal's just rescued and now he's in sanctuary. And then you have that asshole who, in the comments who's like, looks delicious. And I'm just like, dude, it's not funny. <laughs> You're not edgy. And no one's like, wow, that guy's really clever. He looked at the animal and he was able to process that that's where his food comes from. So he equated the animal with being delicious. So smart. Like, no, dude, you're just being an asshole. And I really curse, so you guys can tell that I'm... What about fish? What about them? <laughs> we can also collect a brutality, this guy, but collect a brutality also kills... They kills him at any time. Is it possible the animal does in fact? No, because no one eats the hair and the skin and the eyes and the ears of an animal while it's not, when it's not processed into meat. So no, no, it's not possible. Like you're just being, you're just being an idiot. You're just trying to make a dumb joke and it's not funny. I don't want to double push because, like, this is going to... Orzhov Pontiff is going to be able to kill everything so long as we can get rid of their lords. I'll eat some hair. You don't know me. I guess that's true. That's true. You could actually eat some hair. Dang. I don't actually know. Yeah, that guy's dead. How often do you get to play Legacy? Rarely ever. Rarely ever play Legacy. I'm not a big Legacy fan. I think Legacy is probably my least favorite format. When I was a kid, no joke, I was asked in school and I wanted to be when I grew up instead of vegetarian because I loved animals and wanted to see them better. But I also said if we can't fix them, we can just... I also said if we can't fix them, we can just eat them. Oh my... Yeah, that's really... That got real dark, Matthew, Ari. <laughs> like, what? If, if we can't fix them, we'll eat them. Did they whiff on lead the stampede? Oh my god. How even? We probably should have just taken two less, but like I said, we're streaming, guys. So we're going to kill this dude. And then we're going to pontiff your whole life away. I'm just going to play this here. One, two, three. Oh god. This is where they scoop, right? They have no cards in hand. <laughs> oh boy. I've never seen a lead the stampede whiff completely. Like that is impressive. That is impressive to me. Vintage is my probably my third favorite format. I don't consider actually. I think I like vintage more than like standard or modern to be honest. But it's just you don't get to play it a lot. You know, it's hard to. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Thoughtseize in here, or at least a split, right? Because Thoughtseize is always gonna hit the cards you can't hit with Inquisition. Oh my god, you can't keep saying we's just monking around. Push wasn't necessary. Uh, it was definitely necessary because they have a 2-2. Because their Elvish Clan Caller makes all their guys 2-2s. So it actually 1,000% was necessary. Legacy also has a significantly larger percentage of... Um, like, technical skill is more relevant. Like, you have to... Like, there's more putting cards back on the top of your library. There's more mechanical skill is what I'm, what I'm talking about. You gotta put cards back in a certain order. You have to tap a thing, then sacrifice a thing. And then your opponent can respond and destroy your thing. And there's, there's, there's a lot of, like, timing things in Legacy that I'm really not a fan of. Because, like, you have to, like figure out how the stack is going to look and you're like okay if I play this you can daze it which bounces your land back to your hand and if I if I try to wasteland in response to this you can bounce your land but you won't have a land but then you play a land like it's just really confusing it's very but the clan caller itself dies the, oh that's a good point I didn't no the clan caller wasn't a 2 it's not, it wasn't a 2-2 two -two. it was just a one 1-1 one. then you're correct then I'm a dummy and I wasted a fatal push I really actually because it's every time we draft clan caller I'm like how's this just a 1-1 one -one? this should be a 2-2 two -two. It should be a 1-1 that pumps all elves, because then it's a 2-2 two -two for 2. And that's just fine. There's no reason it should be a 1-1 one -one elf lord. Mmm. 
I don't want to donate. I don't, I don't even. The weird Christmas theme in Iron Man is very strange. I accept it, but it's very strange. I don't think there's anything else we really want here. I really appreciate these two disenchants, though. Way to go, Hodge Gulashi. All right. Let's get into the legacy. Did I just jump into legacy? We're talking about legacy, so I literally just jumped into legacy queue. Can you imagine if I played this, this modern deck in legacy? That'd be fantastic. Like, hey guys, let's. Hey, wait a minute. Well, how did he force of all my thing? Oh, we made a terrible mistake. That's really interesting that the cat didn't eat the gallbladder. Like, of all the things, it's like, no, no, even I know not to hit this part. I will play first. This hand looks great. I will keep this hand every single day. Can you guys name one day of the week? I'll keep it on that day. The problem, My problem with Legacy is that games are often ended... Like, you end a game of Legacy with one or two lands in play. And it's just super weird. Like, all the resources are so much more important than Legacy. Like, we got one land. You better hold on to that land. Oh, you're going to bounce your land with with a daze? Oh, you don't have any lands. Like, it's such a weird format. Whereas, like, even in even in Vintage, like, you regularly have lots of lands and lots of things in play. Adaptive Automatons, a Dromokus Command, and a Crystal Light. I'm going to take the... Oh, boy. I think we're taking the Dromokus Command because it just kills our prison and it kills our mentor. I, yeah, we're just taking that. Friday, definitely a day. Uh, what was I going to say? Would day I keep, keep this hand? Yep, we'll just play this out. Loam Lion. Oh, shoot. Cat Tribal in Modern. Love and Life. I guess we play Mentor first. Mentor has the potential to trigger... Uh, The problem is if we play Ghostly Prison here, then we Wrath of God, they're just going to kill our Wrath of God. We also don't have a land for Wrath of God yet, so I'm just going to play Mentor here. Because Ghostly Prison and Gideon trigger Mentor, which is nice. A Saf Specisk? I don't know what that is. Just made that word up. The type is Cat. Yeah, I'm just taking six here. That's rough. I don't think Christmas movies do sell tickets. I actively avoid Christmas movies. And on TV shows, the Christmas the Christmas episode are, is always actively my favorite. Because I feel like you're trying to fit this theme in there at the cost of like an actual story or plot. It's very strange to me. I'm like, okay, Christmas, a Christmas episode, I know what's going to happen. Everyone's going to get together. They're all going to have a good time. They're all going to have some food. There's going to be some shenanigans. And then everyone's going to be grateful at the end. Like, yeah, I, I've seen a Christmas episode of, the, of a show. I, I understand what's going to happen. And then at the end, they're like, you know what? I'm real glad we're friends. Me too. Do, 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 do. And I'm like, all right, whatever. This is weird. I feel like I feel like Iron Man doesn't have a problem emphasizing the loved ones thing. Like the the Pepper Potts, like Tony's appreciation of like people like a happy and Pepper Potts has been pretty much a, a focal point of the entire franchise. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do. I really wanted to build a Wrath of God. If we had a fourth land, I would have just waited till Wrath of God. Then we Wrath. Then we get to play this post combat post. Uh... Post Wrath, and then they don't have their Pride Mage on board anymore. All right, so we know you still have one adaptive automaton, right? Well, not anymore, I guess. All right. Oh, two adaptive automatons. I guess still I guess you still do. My mistake. Why are Leonin considered cats but Naga aren't considered snakes? These are the these are the good questions. These are the questions I don't have an answer to. 
I feel like this deck almost wants more Wrath of Gods, and then you just play Monster Mentor as like a five drop. I really just want to land. We're just gonna chump here. Why wow, you're attacking with this guy too? I'm just gonna block here because we take one, two. If it's gonna take three turns for us to take as much damage from this guy. Land, ghostly prison. All right, that's that helps. They only they they attack for five. We go to two. Ugh. So if we blocked here, would have taken two more. So we had five, and we'd actually be dead. So good decisions all. Oh boy. Well, we're going to go to the next game. Fourth land is really our downfall there. And the thing is, the deck has 24 lands, which is more than enough. It's not like we don't have a lot of lands here. Uh, again, not much for the creatures. Probably just collective brutality. It does kill things. I like that better than oust. Yeah, I think it's better than oust. Actually, it's probably better than Pontiff in this matchup. This matchup doesn't seem very Pontiffable. I will play first. Oh uh, boy. Uh, against elves? Boy, they didn't they really didn't have a chance. What is this? Turn three mentor, turn four mentor oust, and then we just make a bunch of things. I'm down. We're just monking around here, guys. Is Zealous Persecution better than Pontiff? I mean, probably. We're going to play this so we can crack it. I uh, I like the potential of having Fatal Push. But we don't have any... Uh, Fatal Push Revolted, but we don't actually have any Fatal Push. And I'd rather not take three damage the turn next turn when we play... Uh so our plan is to have... We need four lands, so we're going to have to play, play a land on turn three and on turn four. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. I'm probably just going to oust that guy. Now we're really hoping we don't top deck a fatal push, which means we're going to top deck a fatal push, guys. We didn't. That, that's good. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I agree with the restos. The restos kind of feel kind of jammed in here. Like, they don't have very very good targets. Um, whereas there's much better four drops than Resto, I think. Black White Control is actually one of my favorite archetypes in Modern because it always does very, very well. Yeah, the thought is to draw more off Omens. That makes total sense. But, I mean, it's it's very narrow. Right? I feel like if, if Restoration, Restoration Angel was a 3-4 for 4 with Flying that drew you a card, it's just not as good. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I, just, I, don't, I still don't think that's enough to play it by itself. And sometimes you're actually not going to have a card. You're not going to have a wall of omens to blink. Yeah, I guess we're taking six here. How are we losing to this cat deck? Wrath of God. It's not it. See, like, right now, like, I rarely... Um, 
I, I, I can't foresee the situation where I want to be casting Resto. LaFof, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Wow, LaFof just walked in and he's like, nice, nice whisper. I feel like there's got to be something good we can put at Restoration Angel in that slot. I am also a big black white fan in modern. Wow, they're just killing everything. God, we can't even block because of the stupid exalted, otherwise that'd be great. Man, Jeroka's command seems like a beating against us. I'm just gonna take this. Oh, actually we could have killed this guy. They didn't even Huh. Okay. Well, that's a thing. We're probably going to actually wait, let them cast their... Um... Uh, Zombub, I think if it's technically playable, it's probably in the best condition, right? Like, that's actually perfect because it gives me more work to do. And that's what I want. Like, a lot of times people send me decks and they're like, really, they're just fine. And I'm like, I don't know how to improve this. This is awkward. Oh, how could you go? How could you potentially go about inflicting it on me? I thought you said could. Okay, um, check my Twitch profile, buddy. There is information in there. And uh, feel free to send me an email and we can discuss. So we know they have at least a Brimaz in hand. Well, we're definitely blocking and gaining here. Gonna get them sick gains. Block. Look at that death. This is where they go. Jamoka's command number three. Although if they had that, I guess they could have. Oh my god. Seriously. <laughs> Jamoka's command number three. Fantastic. Well, here we go. Thirty-six relentless threats, twenty-three swamps, one planes. Why the one planes? <laughs> what does the one planes do? Yep, had a feeling that guy was coming down. This guy. Oh, so it's black white. Wow this guy this what being alive feels like oh I feel so alive for the very first time yep that's a good one that is a good one I'm just going to block here. I'll take two. Because all these guys get much stronger next turn. Souls and vaults and souls and vaults and souls and vaults. Well, we're just going to play all the lands. Because at a certain point we want to be able to play something on a turn. And also activate Vault of the Archangel. So, so either they let us... Let us... <laughs> Yep, 
Either they attack and let us activate, or we get to resto. That's pretty good. Alistair Kane, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. I hate Oketra. I think Oketra is actually the worst. Um, she's never a creature, and the ability to make tokens is just way too expensive. I think Gideon, ally of Zendikar, is just ten times better than Oketra. I like Gonti, though. Surprisingly, I like Gonti a lot. Jermoka's command number four. Hey. <laughs> oh, boy. I will choose not to do this. They didn't have it. Oh, I like Gonti. The funny thing is, we want to put Gonti in place of of of, uh, of Resto, but Gonti actually makes makes Resto better. Oh, multiple Diablo games in the works. That sounds gas. Three, four, five, six. We can oust something and then attack for six and gain six. Go to eight. If we bounce this, they take. We take three. If they have another, we take five. Four on board, getting rid of this. If we get rid of this, it's still four on board. If you get rid of this, it's two on board. I also worry about the number of the quality of the cards you're getting off of a Gonti. Three, four, we take six, we go to eight, we take three. Yeah, we're just going to gain a million here. I'm a big fan of Alto the Archangel. I think it's one of my favorite cards. Joke's on you. I had another adaptive automaton. <laughs> I always have multiples. Yep. Like you do. Well, we still, we're still we at two. We went to three, so we gained life. Oh, that's very good. So we're not attacking anymore. Oh, yeah. Mike B is actually humongous. He's, like, significantly tall. He's, like, 6'5". It's my other adaptive Adamadan. Do these become cats? Oh, it's a construct. Cat's a cat construct. Uh, Mike is actually recovering from yesterday. Isn't Sorm Solemnism just worse than Sorin, uh, the Lord of Anstrod? Like, I'd rather plus one to make a vampire with lifelink than negative two to make a two two. Jeez. Cheddar cheese. Our hand is gas. Is this a new meme? No, Mike is six. Mike is tall as hell. Like, I don't know. Why would there be no way Mike is 6'5"? That doesn't... Mike is extremely tall.
Oh my god. This is ridiculous. I feel like this is where you have to strike, right? No? Next turn, I guess. Well, I'm just gonna keep playing lands. Yeah, plus one gives the team one 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 zero and lifelink, but like the team is never that big. Like we're not a supremely token. Like we have four mentors and like three lingering souls, which should probably go up to four if we don't actually have four lingering souls. Okay, we do. Our, like there, these are our tokens: lingering souls and monastery mentor. Like there's a significant amount of turns where like you play a lore, a Soren and you have no tokens. So like I just don't. I'd rather have a creature that makes one ones with lifelink than pumps our other existing tokens. Pre-combat. Double blockers. Well, that's getting killed. That's in our... So we gained four, and we take three. Yeah, I'm game. So we go to nine, and then we take three. So we go to CN. This seems fine. Yeah, my only concern is like I want to, I the thing about the black white deck is I want things that draw me cards. I can even see putting like one Obnixilus in this deck, which seems like it'd be pretty sweet. Don't be another Pride Sovereign. All right, just another, just another Av Avacyn's Pilgrim, Crap Crapacyn's Pilgrim. I like Ob a lot, actually. I don't like... I, Argyle's Bloodfast is fine on the sideboard, but I think Modern is generally too aggressive for an Argyle's Bloodfast. Like, you don't want to be taking two damage in Modern um, and paying two mana to draw one card. Dark Confidant seems fine. We actually have a pretty low curve, but we have 24 lands, so I'd like a better way to utilize those lands. I like Walls just because they duel down the fort and they do, uh, they do Cantrip, but they're not doing much. I really don't even want to oust because we're kind of like in a racing situation. I think we're just going to hold... Actually... We bounce this guy. Yeah, we're just going to bounce this guy again. And then we can deal four. We can block here. We'll take one. Yeah, this seems fine. They only take one here, but it puts them back like two turns. So The problem with the Death Shadow deck, like the Death Shadow deck doesn't actually have two mana to play Argyle's Bloodfast, and then also two mana to activate it multiple times. Like the Death Shadow deck is actually very constrictive on mana. It's possible, but I mean, like, usually you're just doing you have more things to do than draw one card. Like the first card you draw off a of Bloodfast costs four four total mana. Like I think I think the deck would sooner use Knight's Whisper if they were gonna if they were looking for that kind of ability, which is two damage and two cards for two mana. Yep, that's pretty insane. All right, well. Why would you attack with this? <laughs> oh, you just have lifelink? Sure. One, two, three, four, activate. And we're going to play this. Crack it for a planes because I just want to get a land out. All right, that's actually very good. What up, Denmark? I like Secure the Wastes. I just... Like, we have 24 lands. I don't think there's going to be many games where we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lands in play. I think this is kind of a fluke because we're, we're getting real grindy against the cat deck. 
But um, yeah, we're just gonna pass here. God, they're gonna top deck adaptive automaton now. Jeez. Hmm. I guess they can't attack if they do that, though, right? So this would be a great situation for one of the uh, the deck's namesake ghost ghostly prisons. All right. Well, we got a we got a reprieve here. What are we really looking for off of a draw? Not that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Just realized you deleted Twitch phone. Why would you delete the Twitch phone app? When people delete apps on their phone, like that's got to be a conscious thing, right? You can't accidentally delete an app. You're like, oh, dang, I accidentally deleted this app. Wow, these draws are unbelievable. One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to keep on keeping on. Karg. That card's a blank right now. Yeah. Pride Sovereign is pretty br brutal. It's actually surprisingly good. One, two, three, four, five. Then we actually have enough, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have one, two, three. Yeah, we have plenty. We actually have more than enough. Oh, we can Inquisition you, though. Let's see if you hit a land. What? Get that out of here. Actually, we don't have more than enough. We have just enough. They're going to have to actually... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're actually one shy now. But the Inquisition was probably necessary there. We don't actually need the two extra tokens right now. And we we have no... Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven damage on board. That is a lot of four, four lifelinking cats. Holy sh... This is unbelievable. Yeah, Matt, Matt, the same thing happened to me, buddy. Like, I would check my my the, my the my account, and it literally has, like, all the apps you've ever downloaded from, like, 10 years ago when, you know, like, when you were still new to cell phones and apps were terrible back then. Good lord. They can just attack with these, and it's actually... You don't really... There's not that much uh, downside. All right, well, if they do this, they can't... Yeah, that's fine. Wow, this deck is amazing. You got it. A bold strategy, Cotton. Literal have to block. You gotta be kidding me with this deck. <laughs> oh, amazing. Perfect fits. Thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. The problem is their ability to make uh, tokens is much more consistent than ours. 
They also gain five life for the one life we gain. I'm surprisingly sad. Like, it's surprisingly sad that I would rather have that I'd like a Wrath of God here. I think we've already used one, haven't we? Oh, God, we have one damnation in the deck. And he's checking out the other deck walking by. The, yeah, like, but the, I'm looking at the cat deck. I'm playing this. The black white tokens deck is looking at me like. And, the, and I'm like, oh, that's a nice cat deck. One, we can do four at this, and then our blocks are pretty bad. Good lord. With, with, with mana cost two or less? All right, that's not super exciting. I think we're dead, guys. We could attack with just these two and kill Gideon, kill uh, kill a Johnny, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven profitable attacks. We can block everything. We'll take a million, but we get to kill whoever we want. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of a Johnny here. I don't like Oust. I don't think it does anything. Like, there's so many situations where if Oust is just a better card, um. I see. I see what you're trying to do with the, um, with the not with the just having a a, a corollary to ghostly or to a path for ghostly prison, but I just don't think that it does enough of what you want. Like a rhinestone cowboy. So we can actually kill three things if they attack. They're probably just attacking with these guys. I'm just going to take four here. I don't want to take eight. <laughs> but I also don't want to throw away spirit tokens on just your basic cats. It's going to be a damnation. Collective Brutality. You're not that great here. But you are an incentive to keep our land up. I don't think pack rat's fast enough. Like, I don't think pack rat's a strategy you really want to go in on, especially in a format with Maelstrom Pulse. Like, this is a format where, like, not a format, but like this is a deck where we have our central strategy. We're focusing on mastery mentors, and I don't know why why one angel of ties. I feel like more restoration, more angel of ties would even be better than restoration angel here. Why the one angel? Hajigalashi. That's what I'm. That's what I'm curious about. <sighs> They've drawn three Pride Sovereigns this game, and three Dramokas commands, like, and three Adaptive Automatons. Kind of hard to deal with. Lafo, thank you so much for the resub, buddy, or the regular sub. I guess. I guess you were. Uh, guess you were slacking there. With your, with your support? Mm. Mm. Why no attack there? One time. It's not good. It's not good. Not a fan. One, we have six, one, two, three, four, five, so seven blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can actually survive a hit here. But I mean, like, if your goal is to be like the prison deck, right? Like, why not just max out? Like, four isn't the maximum. Like, you can have more than. Also, there's only three ghostly prisons in the list you sent me. Oh, three and one. I see what you're saying. But like, you don't have to only put four. Like, four is not the maximum. Oh god, this thing is gonna be a beating. What is this deck, dude? This deck is phenomenal. This is, we can't deal with this. This is unfortunate. Everything costs three to attack, huh? We're definitely playing this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. You can attack with two things. Indestructible and hexproof. Jesus Christ. And it says lifelink. It helps, but it's like we have no way to deal with this for the rest of the game. This is unbeatable. We can't outrace this. Yeah, this is brutal. Oust does not get it. It gets indestructible and hexproof. Uh, if we just go full on enchantment prison, it's a totally different deck. It's not the same deck, and then you're just playing mono white enchantments. God, and they have 32. Like, we're just dead here. I think our only outs are drawing, like, two more ghostly prisons. Then it takes seven mana for them to attack. Then they can still attack, though. They still have exactly seven on board. Oh, God, we're just dead here. Settle does actually seem better than Wrath and Damnation, interestingly enough. The problem with Settle is that in Modern, it's a format with significantly more counter spells. Um, so a lot of decks are going to be like, well, I'm just going... Why didn't you do that last turn? Yeah, and Settle's gonna, you're like preventing them from attacking, so. Yep, this is a thing, all right. Oh my god. Might as well gain one. Ah, oh boy. 37 life. Actually, if we can get rid of this, it's not bad. But we have no way to do that. Where's our removal? The thing I like about this is that Wall of Omens can now block... Yeah, we're just going to make an emblem here, actually. Because it lets Wall of Omens block the cats. And also deal uh, some death touchy. How is this game still going? That's my question. This cat's going to just slowly eat everything we have. Mother of God. Fascinating. So one, two, three, four, activate. We can activate both of these. That's great news. Is this indestructible? Oh boy, that's nice. That's fascinating. Sal Randon, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yep. They're just going to get to a point where, like, we can't do anything, though. Yeah, this is a lot of things. Oh, they actually can't attack, though, with everybody. They have to pay three per attacker. So, they're actually four or five. Uh, okay. Well, amazing top deck. Fantastic top deck. So, this is where we, we're we going to use the uh, one of these drivers. I should have put these up um, yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lucky, 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 lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. 
guess we'll get a planes here. I don't think it matters terribly. Um, like it's only one damage there, so we're still not doing terribly. Still cost them two per attacker, so. Pay life. These are two twos? Man, Gideon's emblem OP. Actually, we're going to block with the Wall of Omens here. I think that's just worse than... Maybe it's not. I don't know. They do have four minutes. If we can draw, like, another, uh, another ghostly prison, like, we might have a game. Uh, lands are also good. Uh, so, four, five, activate... One, two, three, four. So... This costs five total, this costs six total, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So we can actually, we can't collect a brutality this turn. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we only have one up. Next turn we can. Oh boy. LaFofe, are you sick, buddy? Oh, wow. These top decks are... Significantly better than the lands I'm drawing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yeah, you don't... Do you have the mana for this? I guess you have the mana for three, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, you got three attackers. Sure. You have a herniated disc? Buddy. Buddy. That's my LaFofe buddy. That's no good. I had I had two ruptured discs back in like 2008, maybe. And uh, I had to get surgery, so. Block and a block. Give me another ghostly prison. I created, thank you. So one, two, three, four, five, activate. Yep, now we can do it all. This is so many cats, dude. The year of the cat. Backs are so weird, dude. Spines are so strange to me. Lucky, 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 lucky. Pay one more. Okie dokie. They're at 65 life. That is an unreasonable amount of life. Block you. I need one answer to one of these adaptive automatons. That's all I need. God, Damnation would be so good here. So five. That doesn't do anything. Uh, cast an Escalade. Escalade. Uh, negative two. Cast. Kill this. Target you. And I'll discard a Thought Seize. <laughs> yeah, they're not stalling. They just can't attack because it takes four mana for each attack. So I get to attack with two things a turn. We get to block at least one thing a turn. When are the drafts happening? Usually after the... It's always in order of the title. So if I'm still doing...
Well, that's pretty good. All right. Fourth Dromoka's Command. I guess I guess sometimes you can't win them all. I wish we could blink that, but that's sad. <sighs> lucky, 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 lucky. Two, three, four, five, six. No, what? No. Oh, my God. That's so obnoxious, dude. Yep, just lost five life and let them keep a token. We actually might even be able to win this due to time, but probably not now. That's so stupid. I'm wondering if we actually, there was a point where we just would have been able to win with Westvale Abbey. But I mean, like, they drew a path, so probably not. Like, they can attack with four dudes here. We can block three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We actually have to play double resto because we can't Westvale Abbey for a guy. God, I can't believe, like, oh my god, that stupid block. That was completely unintentional. Nope. Are you fucking serious? Come on. <sighs> Whatever. All right. Yeah, so there's definitely some things I don't like. Restoration Angel seems just worse than Archangel of Tithes. Um... But also, like, you're playing these creatures out that you... That you're just gonna presumably Wrath of God away. So I think you kind of want more Avenger, more allies. And more Sorens. Add a Ghostly Prison. God, we're trying... Like, it's, it's weird because, like... The mentors are kind of in conflict with the Wrath of Gods, right? So, like, these cards are in conflict with these cards. You know what I mean? Like, if you play a Monastery Mentor and you make a bunch of tokens and you go wide, the problem is that Ghostly Prison doesn't prevent your opponent from having creatures. They're just going to amass a big board that they can't attack with. So, like, it doesn't mean your Monastery Mentor is able to get through. I almost don't like Mentor in the deck. I feel like we're not a Mentor deck. Is that weird? I know you like Eldrazi Monument. We just don't have that many tokens. Like, I, I know you're you're on the Eldrazi Monument theme, but, like, we have Monastery Mentor and Lingering Souls, and that's pretty much it. And so, like, if you have a Monastery Mentor and you cast one side of Lingering Souls, like, 
you're not really you don't have that much to sacrifice I don't even know if I have I don't think I have Eldrazi Monument which is kind of funny lucky 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 why isn't it showing up oh there it is okay I do like Elspeth. Um, Elspeth might be worse than Soren and Gideon, though. Lifelink is relevant. What are you saying, Hajgulash? You just said yes. I don't know what the yes is for. And, like, I almost think you want, instead of Pontiff, you just want another one of these, like another Wrath or a Damnation. And this one Archangel is so random. I still don't think Zealous Persecution is better than Pontiff. Like, it doesn't do anything that Pontiff does better. It triggers Monastery Mentor, but that's pretty much it. Uh, Spectral seems pretty rough. Like, I just don't want to have to have consistently uh, three white mana by turn four. Or turn three, rather. And if you're playing it on turn four, it's just really not as good. I do like the flying creatures. Um, uh, we have oust instead of path because we have ghostly prison. So the last thing we want to do is be ramping their mana. But with fatal push, I don't actually think we need both. Like, it just doesn't... Ten, hope Mike is alive bits. Mike is definitely alive. He's okay. Um... He was he was he was real touch and go last night though. <sighs> like I'm just not sold on these. Okay, please move. I don't know why like you have such a hard time just moving cards magic online. It's really it's 2018, dude. It's one of the most remedial things you could do. I don't hate Knight's Whisper. Is there a better form of card advantage in Modern for Black? Obnixilis. Let's get an Ob in here. You guys want to put in some uh, Phyrexian Obliterators? Is that the thing we can do? Yeah, let's get one of these dudes in here. There's not. There's got to be, right? There's got to be. I feel like we either play more Wraths and Damnations or no Wraths and Damnations. Yeah, I don't like I don't like Pack Rat instead of Wall. Read the Bones is rough at three. I'd rather pit Painful Truths, but we don't have two. We don't have three colors. Ugh. Phyrexian Arena. I don't hate that idea, but I don't really don't like playing another three drop. Like we want two drops right now. MTG has a quality program bits. That's uh oh boy. Oh boy, is it? See, if we take the the mentors out, I feel better about adding more of these. And then we're just like a Planeswalker control deck. Is If that's okay, I can definitely consider it. Have you considered unclaimed? <laughs> At first I was like, what is he talking about? That sounds terrible. And then I realized the meme and I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, Quacker, that is solid, buddy. Isn't Sign and Blood just worse than Night's Whisper? I mean, I guess you could target them, but I mean, like, I'd rather play uh, a white and a black than. Oh, doubling charm. That's good. That's good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take these out for now. I'm going to take this guy out for now. We're going to add one more of each of these. All right. We're going to go harder on the control-ish, like, Planeswalker theme. I'm going to add one more of this guy. I'm going to do one more crazy thing, guys. Are you ready for this? 
I'm gonna add this dude. Take this angel out. We got four prisons now. Ugh. Lucky, 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 lucky. Like, instead of path, we could probably put two dismembers in here. These are probably going to be two drops. Uh, let's put in two Knights Whisper for now, and I think this is actually pretty good. I might want more thoughts, because we do have Collective Brutality in the sideboard. Um, let's try this, this crazy, ridiculous. One oust? Pfft. We ain't doing all that. But he is not good. He might be too expensive for modern. He might be. All right, I'll take the Soren out. I'll put a Knight's Whisper in. Man, that's so disappointing. Why do you? Why are you the way that you are? Why are you the way that you are? Oh, uh, it's definitely not black white tokens. Like we basically have Lingering Souls, Gideon, and Soren. Like we don't have Gather. We don't have Intangible Virtue. We don't have Spectral. Or this is definitely just not black white tokens. Win condition. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planeswalkers, four lingering souls. What was our win condition previously? Mentor. Oh, actually, here's a better idea. What is our sword pack color now? Okay, so we're basically pretty even on black and white here. I also kind of like one more shambling vent too. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can cut one of these. Yeah, Baneslayer Angel is actually... Is Baneslayer Angel better than... Lyra? Probably. We don't have any other angels here. Yeah, it's probably better. This is 61. We need one cut, though. Probably just cut a wall of omens. Yeah, the dragon thing can definitely matter. Unfortunately, against, like, Stormbreath Dragon, it doesn't matter. And against uh, Thunderball Hellkite, it doesn't initially matter because she gets tapped. But... Lucky, 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 lucky. <laughs> Demonic Pact! Loud noises! Do we have any way to get rid of Demonic Pact? Don't get me wrong, that is literally one of my favorite M M Magic Origins cards. Man, this is only match three. That 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 uh that cat's deck took forever. That's true. Uh that's actually a perk, I think. We can't accidentally kill our Bane Slayer with our Obnixilus. Actually we can, because he's not a demon, but you get the point. The the joke is still good. Hey, if I wasn't giving you earnest thoughts and games with this with this deck, I I don't know what the point would be. Three mana Gideon, so you can't lose the game. Oh my god, I don't hate that at all. I might like that more than I should. All right, let's see if this... We, we, sweet, we changed the deck pretty significantly here, so let's see if this makes a difference. I'm a fan of this hand. Keep him. Well, I'm glad you don't think I'm coasting on this, because I'm definitely putting in uh, a lot of thought here. Oh god, well, we're going to lose our Wall of Omens, I think. Going to 17. Oh, God. So long. Good cards. Actually, they might just take Gideon or Fatal Push, depending on what's better for them. Oh, now they're just either taking one of these two. Are we demoing? Demo demoting? What's a demode? <laughs> fatal Push, huh? Okay. Okay. I read that as coasting on these thighs. Wow. 
Some some streamers coast on these thighs. Well, I'm gonna. That's gonna be a hard pass for me, buddy. No offense. I don't know. I can't meme. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Oh, memeing is hard. Three, four, Tarmagizzle. Yep. Well, that's going to be good one day. One day. This can block your guy. That's pretty cool. We're doing great. We're doing great here. Oh, that's so good. Arcan oh, look at this curve, man. We got Gideon into Baneslayer. I'm sure neither of these cards are actually going to get killed by the Jun deck. That's my really my really my issue with modern is that like you can play fun decks like this like decks like this will probably do, um they they they'll they'll do reasonably well in like an event or whatever because the cards are are generally good, but it's hard to like play against decks like Jund. It's really hard to break through that top tier of the format and play like you know quote unquote whatever you want because, yeah we're just gonna block here if you want to like lightning bolt this or something it's totally fine. There's an instant of sorcery in a land. You got it. Wow. Double fail push seems pretty good. This is the kind of deck that we want the, the ghostly prison against, but they're just going to have either Maelstrom Pulse or Abrupt Decay. So, you know. Well, sometimes you just you just get it. You just get there. Let's get a Swampums. Lucky, 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 lucky. Rodrigo, congrats on the 5 with the Scred Dragons. That deck seems pretty sick, actually. Oh, look at this little guy. I am just a little dark confidant. All right, let's take a gander at your... We just baning around. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's a good card. Congratulations on your four damage. They're at eight already? They go to seven? My God. Yep, you're gone. Coligon's command. Yeah, that's pretty good. I might have been I might have been about to say let's take a gander at your hander maybe I feel like that probably could have slipped out. I guess you kill this guy, make me discard.
and you have to kill the night ally, and there's no artifacts, and I guess you could kill this and get a... Yeah, I'll discard you. Yeah, now you can just kill the Gideon. Bloodbraid Elf is a cool card. Seven life, huh? I want to play one of these, and then next turn we can go uh, Lingering Souls, another one of these, and we'll see what happens. Dang, they're always so lucky. Are you gonna play some Popper Gauntlet? Probably not. I don't have a Popper deck. Is that like a? Is that like? Do they give you a deck, a Popper deck? I mean, maybe, but I just don't know the format. Mountain is a disgusting land. Look at this disgusting land. Now you have to decide whether attacking is more important or playing things is more important. My problem with this matchup is that I really don't want to put more than one thing on the board. Like, I don't want to put double Ghostly Prison. I don't want to play Lingering Souls and flash it back because Maelstrom Pulse gets strict, significantly better if we do that. This is nice because if they have the Maelstrom Pulse, we can just pop that bad boy. Dark, yeah, let's get rid of that. And we'll just play this guy. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, we're having a good time. Having a good time. Do, 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 do. All right, well, we we're hoping you'd hit a thing, so I guess we're dead here. They just exile two things. Um, yep, that was pretty brutal. <laughs> it literally had to be Maelstrom Pulse. Un unbelievable. Any other card? Coligon's Command, Abrupt Decay. None of those have the same effect as a Maelstrom Pulse right off the top. It's kind of... Uh, I'm, the f I'm the friggin' meme guy. Just staggering. I uh, don't care about any of these things. Luminarch Ascension, not great. I don't know what deck we're actually playing Luminarch Ascension in. Like, it just doesn't seem... I know it was a cool side. It was like a, a pet card of yours, you said. But the problem is that, like, decks are dealing damage. I do want these cam balls in there because they're they got spells for days. Yeah, I guess against Blue Eye Control is fine. They just have a lot of counter spells, though. And they have detention spheres. I guess it's fine. I mean, it is what it is, but I don't know. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's good enough. It's got one prison here and one ob. <sighs> Actually, brutality is pretty good. Uh, take out a Night's Whisper.
Lucky, 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 lucky. See, here's the funny thing. This is a, this is a similar deck that I played before in Modern, and it actually does very, very well usually. Um, the thing about Ghostly Prison is that, by and large, since Johnny Miti still have to floss, I think I still have to floss, right? I don't not floss because sugar still exists, and I still get. I think vegetable matter between your teeth is also pretty problematic, right? Uh, we're gonna mulligan this hand. So one thing about this this deck, right? Let's talk about it real quick. Is that um. We're going to just play this and pass. I don't think Ghostly Prison is better than just having Path. Um, a lot of times Ghostly Prison can prevent swarms, but Modern is a format where you have more than like two or three creatures out at any given time. And usually they can just pay for that. So a lot of times Ghostly Prison isn't actually preventing the creatures from attacking. And additionally, one thing it is doing is giving them a target for things like Maelstrom Pulse or, or Abrupt Decay. You know what I mean? So it's it's tricky because I think actually path when you look at path like it actually saves you more life and more more damage in the long run, um, and it costs one as opposed to three. I do like uh, last hope. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Um. Yeah, I think Last Hope's actually probably pretty good in this format. Um, we know we have Brutality on top. Do we want to just keep Brutality? Probably. Gala Shrine. Yeah, we'll just take the two. I don't think it's a big deal. We do have to hit a significant amount of lands for this hand to actually do anything. One down. Hall of Avenger, not even Mardu, but Modern So Oh yeah, that's the thing. Like, I mean, like, even if it's even if it's great against like the the uh, the Hollow One Dredge Vine decks, like you're still you're still gonna like if you play nine rounds in advance, you're probably gonna see that maybe two or three rounds, you know? So like it's really hard to gear your your entire main deck against one specific archetype. Um because you may not you just may not play against that deck very frequently. I think if we hit land, land, land here. We'll be fine uh, if we don't. It's no bueno. Yep, that's pretty good. See, this is a problem. Not ideal. I actually don't think we can. I think we can. I don't think we can actually beat a Liliana on three here with this. Uh... Are there any cards? Like, God, I would kill for Council's Judgment in Modern. Also, this card, I would just rather this be a creature or something that I can attack with. I uh, feel feeling bad. Feeling bad here. Close this. Yeah, I also think we I wouldn't mind having more thought seasons and inquisitions. Like having being able to have like six in this deck would be real nice. Alright, wooded foothills.
We did not board in the Anguished on making because I didn't actually consider Liliana in this matchup, <laughs> which is kind of silly in hindsight. Um, Logan, Logan, Logan. I have to sacrifice a crusher. I'll sacrifice this wall of omens. Nailed it. They can't win now. <laughs> They're basically dead. If there's a land in the top three cards, I think we're okay. I don't know if we're okay. It's not great. That's real cringy. Uh, it actually has to be a black land. Oh, God. What are our odds here? I have 48 cards. Have to hit a black source. We probably have like 15 black sources in the deck. It's probably a little under 50%. So we have one Marsh Flats, one Godless, one Isolated Chapel, right? And the deck currently is. So these three would be gone. Hypothetically, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, these don't count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve out of forty-eight. So literally twenty-five percent. Yikes. Or we can just collect a brutality, kill this guy, and look at their hand. I think we gotta risk it for the biscuit. Nailed it. Never didn't have it. And now we can actually discard Lingering Souls. This is actually pretty reasonable. Watch this guy come down and just crush. You guys ready for that? It's going to be great. We did only hit one land. I, w I wouldn't have minded two lands there, but I guess Lingering Souls is a decent pickup. So this is gone. This is, I guess, gone. All these are gone. I don't think I know anything in your hand right now. Wow. I guess we are at 11, so I'm like, wow, that's aggressive. Yeah, I guess that's over 50% of our life, so that's fair. That's a reasonable play. If we hit a land, though, we can kill this, play Lingering Souls. Not terrible. Yep. Remember that time we wanted to hit a land? Let's do it again. One more time. Jund is just a ridiculously efficient deck. Oh my god, we're so good at this game. It's unbelievable. Alright, so we want to kill this. We don't care about the game life. We do want to actually see what you have in your hand, though. Actually, you're just going to make us discard with Liliana anyway, right? So we can't keep one card or else we just discard it to Liliana. So if we're going to do, we should just do all. Um, you, target you, target you again. All right. Discard both of these. See you later, guys. Liliana number two and an overgrown tomb. Unexciting. At least Jun doesn't have Electrolyze. Well, not yet, anyway. What if Coligon's command said choose two modes and then draw a card? That'd be friggin' amazing. That's like three modes. Yeah. Wait, that'll be in Ravnica. <laughs> just, a, just a strict upgrade. So we can pretty much play anything we draw, right? Like, other than Baneslayer and 
uh, the other Obnixilis. I think we're, I think, which I think we boarded out. We can pretty much play anything. I will sacrifice one creature. You got it. Why can't you be this good at drafting? Yeah, I don't know. I ask myself the same thing every day. Well, just going to four here. Lightning bolt that spirit token. I dare you. I dare you. Don't be a baby. You won't. Wow, that's actually surprisingly good. Get him. Oh, they have another one in hand, though. Ah, that's so gross. That's okay. We're gonna hit an Inquisition here. You guys ready? Oh, that's not gonna. Ha that's not gonna. Not gonna be like that. That's for sure. Inquisition off the top. Get rid of that second lily. It was not an Inquisition, just to be clear. Dismember the Lily. Yeah, that's a solid... I actually like... I wish I could. That would be great. This is where I want to be. I want to be in the uh, Dismembering Your Planeswalker camp. Target creature gets a negative five, negative five, or target planeswalker loses five loyalty. Boy. We should design magic cards. Yep, that's pretty good. I will discard this dismember, as you may have expected me to do. Oh my god, the luckiest. You're so lucky. You're the luckiest player I've ever seen. Lucky, 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 lucky. We got a Marsh Flats, though, so everything's okay. It's all coming up Millhouse. I don't even want to attack, but... I think you just make a sacrifice anyway. I think we're basically dead. It's not looking good here. We actually can't really crack this because we go to three. Uh, if we sacrifice this. Tarmacoif, sure. Yeah, I think this is this is game over, unfortunately. Black, green, one. Destroy up to two target creatures. A total converted mana cost less than four. Controller of those creatures. This That's actually miserable. Please never print that. That would be just absolutely disgusting. That is not a reasonable power level. <sighs> yeah, we can activate the land, but we have to crack this, right? So... If they, if they negative Liliana to make a sacrifice one of these, if we sacrifice this, we die immediately to Treetop Village because we'd go to, we'd go to three. If we block Treetop Village, we die immediately without sacking this because we take four. If we sacrifice this guy, it doesn't matter if we activate this because it's a zero power. So we can block Treetop and then take two. So we actually just have to sacrifice the spirit. Uh, in which case, we probably should have attacked. But as you can see, there's a lot going on here. They only have one green source outside of Treetop, so if they want to play Tarmogoyf, they can't also play... Um, they can't also act, attack with Treetop Village. Yeah, Mike was pretty... Mike had a pretty rough uh, a re pretty rough go last night. He, he probably threw up about six times. It was pretty brutal. Let's see if the other card they drew in addition to Tarmogoyf was a Lightning Bolt. You guys ready? 1,000% Lightning Bolt. Nice. 
not a lightning bolt. Oh, they're just going to get a green and play Tarmogoyf. Seems good. Seems good. Even like a damnation doesn't do it because we get to we we would just kill our own wall and then we die to treetop village. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Ghostly prison, just terrible here. Path to exile, probably pretty good. I think I, I think we can't do. I think we either do path to exile or ghostly prisons. You see what I'm saying? If we take out the ghostly, I think mentor is actually better. I want to add two more inquisitions. I'm going to I'm going to go we're going to go a little crazy here. I want to take out the ascensions. Um I think these are just better against control decks than ascension. I don't think ascension has legs. I also think Cambal is pretty good against ascension as well. So I think that's okay. And to be fair, if you don't like the changes, we can just you can just go back to the normal list. That is an option. We're going to bring paths in. I'm going to take out the Wraths and the Damnations, and we're going to lean more heavily on, like, ground things. Maybe we don't want Wall, actually. Add you. Bring in this Monastery Mentor back. This is 60. Is this where you want to be? Maybe? Oh boy. Good times. Um I did not say I wanted three mana Gideon. Someone mentioned three mana Gideon. I don't think three mana Gideon is very good at all. I liked the demonic pact three mana Gideon combination that someone may have mentioned. But uh otherwise I think three mana Gideon's pretty much poop. Yeah, so we, I was talking to Felipe, and he said the bottle of tequila. Like, let's say this is a bottle of tequila, right? It's obviously going to be more bulbous toward the bottom. Uh, he mentioned that the tequila was probably about up to here. It was over half full. It was probably like 55% full. And Mike literally just finished it off. It was kind of ridiculous. Uh, oh, Liliana of the, of the, of the, you know, the, the dark one, the, the last hope, whatever. Yeah, this one seems real good. What do we put in place of it, though? Aether Flow? Oh, you guys are still talking about a different thing. I thought you were talking about the Pearl Jam song, Aether Flow. <laughs> oh, God. Good times. Let's bring in a Lily for an ob. Actually, I don't think we need the dismembers. We have four, four push, four dismember, and uh, four path. We can actually bring in you, and we'll bring in another ob. Yeah, I don't know. That one dude in the chat called him called him a lightweight, and I was like, you have literally no idea how much he is drinking right now. It is actually unbelievable. Liliana of the Dark One. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's close enough. It's basically the same thing. Uh, he finished it off in the sense that he drank all of it in in uh, in the duration of the stream. All right, we are now out of... All right, let's try... Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, no, we forgot to add two sideboard cards. This is so awkward. Well, we have a 13-card sideboard now, but that's really all you need in modern anyway, so I don't feel bad. Look at this hand. This hand is great. I already feel better about this. Look at this. Knight's Whisper, Liliana, and we still have the Mentors in the deck. My wife calls this the Michaelis Lepore show on Frank Streams. Wow, that's actually pretty funny. I mean, I accept this. This is uh, this is just life. Sometimes life is Michaelis, you know. Spider, you have a good night, buddy. Tell your son good luck in kindergarten. What's up, Chief? You okay? You doing all right?
the deck you are seeing is not going to look anywhere near the deck we're playing. We're actually going to we're going to we're going to lead off with this guy, even though it doesn't let us do one of these on turn. Oh, little little spurts. Let's take Spell Queller away because that's probably the most obnoxious one. What do you got? Breeding Pool Collected Company. The only one you can actually cast in your hand is Supreme Phantom. That's interesting. I'm going to take out that. I'm going to take out the one card you can cast. Here goes. Top deck white source. You ready? Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, we're so good at this game. This is Look, this is why we do it, guys. This is why we do the Inquisition here. This is why you want infinite of these. I don't. I couldn't believe you had like only. What did you have? Like four. I guess that's fine. There was a crazy thunderstorm last night in New York, and three people get hit by light. The, wow, three people get hit by lightning. Lucky, 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 lucky. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Just hilarious. You have five cards. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. So this is your hand. Good to know. Well, <laughs> oh man, maybe it was just Shrek. What was he? Do you guys, do you guys know what he was talking about yesterday? When he was like, Shrek killed like ten thousand people. I literally have no idea what he was talking about. Is that like part of the Shrek lore? Was he just like a, an ogre that killed like thousands of people? I don't know if it was lore or if he just made that up. I literally have no idea. What's this YouTube link you're, you're sending me here? Yep, you're a lucky, 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 <laughs> luck boy. Wow. Wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this instance. Look at this uh, sorcery speed collected company. They whiffed and hit one mausoleum wander. That is... Uh, that is a thing. That is quite a thing. I'm going to try to hit a removal thing. Shrek killed 10,000 fictional characters who intruded on his swamp. Is that what it is? I don't know how Shrek works. I don't know Shrek lore, so I couldn't... I can't really comment. I think we're dealing more damage to ourselves than to... Uh... You can only cast one of these. Noble Hierarchy. We're just going to take the Hierarchy here. I don't care about the stupid Selfless Spirit. Oh god, Quacker, what's this? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh boy. Amazing. Shrek is not Disney, it's DreamWorks. Get your lives together. Also... 10,000 people is a lot. That is an amazing, amazing claim. Shrek killed 10,000 people. These draws have been fantastic. You know what I say about that? <laughs> pretty, pretty, Mix it up a little bit. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Wow, you're just going to kill my Liliana? That's rude. Don't we have like four fatal push and four of the other thing? Yep, all right. Well, that's not it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make an emblem here. Maybe we just attack with Shambling Vent here. I kind of want Mentor out so we can go Lingering Souls, Lingering Souls next turn. Oh, we did remove the sweepers because we have like 
a lot more removal now. My eye is itching. I don't want it to do that. We can't block anybody, so our our center to attack is pretty high. We need to take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, crying out loud. So another hand is one selfless spirit. I'm really surprised that we're in a position to be losing this game after we double inquisition thought seized them and took a bunch of relevant cards. You want to let this resolve, buddy? Come on. Come on, buddy. How would you consider this deck tier one or tier two? I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's either tier one or tier two yet. I don't think we're. I don't think we're there yet. Unless I can't. Yeah, you would think that after a thousand people have been killed by Shrek, that that the, the one thousand and one person would be like, you know what? I'm gonna steer clear. I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay home today. I'm not gonna go wander into his his swamp. Swamp needs more heartless summoning. Wow, Mike, I still have like 130 Hearthstone packs to be opening. I don't know what's going on here. I just want this to resolve. I got a brush on my shoulders. Movie, movie, movie studio releases in order. <laughs> I like that trooper. I agree with you, Disco Biscuits. I agree with you. Oh my God! What's the hold up here? You have one card in hand. You can't counter it. Nineteen minutes later. No. Can you imagine if we took two here and then they're just like, all right, four, five, six, seventy nine, ten, eleven, twelve, kill you? I'd be like, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Boomer, did you barricade the door? Why? Oh, the zombies. No. <laughs> oh, the Simpsons. Fantastic. All right, so they let resolve, but now we can't go to combat yet. It's very confusing. Everything that's happening right now is very confusing. How you guys doing? You guys having a good time? You guys, uh, you guys come here often or? Well, I could sing to you guys, but I don't think you're ready for it. What's your deal? Tell me about your problems. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, this feels like playing against Crackling Iron Words, only instead of our opponent doing all the things, they're doing none of the things, and... Uh, 
I have no idea what's happening right now. I just really want to attack with my knight allies. I do not play any instruments. I have meddled in instruments in my life, but I have not uh, become proficient really with any of them, unfortunately. Oh, we did it, we can go to the combat step. My God, I thought this day would never come. Block here, and then that's it. Okay, seems good. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if you can top deck a Drog Skull Captain. Because you have a selfless spirit in hand. We know that. I'm ready for it. Just around the internet. It's from, uh, it's from Buddy Pocahontas. Remember that, that song? And she was with John Smith and she was like, Just around the internet. Ooh. Ooh, getting getting skittish. Interesting. You're keeping all your Let's linger. I will counter this. You know what? Knock yourself out. That is unfortunate. Not a fan. I think we're dead. Oh, it's got hexproof. That is unfortunate. Uh, for one thing, if we path this, they're just going to sack this to counter it. For two, it has hexproof. So before you guys go on your rants about being able to path this guy, it doesn't work for multiple reasons. I just wanted to do it to pump our other friend. Oh, this is actually insanely good. Because we're going to path this guy and they're going to they're going to sack this guy to counter it. But either way, the monastery mentor is getting pumped, which is pretty insane. This actually could be very good depending on if they sack wander. This is actually probably the best outcome. I don't know if we're alive. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's so good. Yeah, all right, so that guy lives. And this guy dies? Yeah, that's that's bad. Selfless Spirit's a pretty, pretty fair magic card. Yep. So we take three, four, five, six, seven. We li they literally have seven on board. Um, <laughs> and we lose to that. Exactly lethal. Good times. Sure. Yeah, there's just a lot of things to keep in mind here. Yeah, we're just done. You don't have to you don't have to show me all the cards in your hand. I believe you. I believe you you have a lot of things. Uh collective brutality is probably pretty good here. It kills their other guy. Just around the internet. We'll take an Obnix list out, we'll take a Take a Soren out. Uh, 
All right. This this uh this series of matches has gone on for longer than I expected it to. It's about two and a half hours almost now. Um, these are the lifelink tokens, which I think are more important than the the, the flying ones. Also, this Soren is plus one to make a token. The other one is negative two, which is significantly worse, I think. Ghostly Prison would have been better there, but not by much. I will play first. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Double Lingering Soul seems pretty good with a Gideon Emblem. Collective Brutality also is able to kill one of their idiots. And also, Collective Brutality seems great with Lingering Souls. Just be able to discard that guy. Reveal and neg. All right, you got a path to exile. Seems good. Now you do not. Supreme, and you play the planes. Good to know. This is a lot of lingering souls I'm just gonna get a... actually we're gonna get a planes here and we're gonna flash back and we're gonna take your drog skull captain You got it. I will take one damage. One whole hit point. <laughs> so you got rid of Flooded Strand. You got rid of Selfless Spirit. My concern is you play another Supreme Phantom and then we just have to block. But I guess blocking is fine. Yeah, you're only going to have two creatures out. So this is just fine. Then we have Lingering Souls times a million. I found the Shrek thing. Can I post the link? Yeah, definitely. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Tier 20. Oh, Spazio. Always a pleasure, buddy. Always a pleasure. Tell Italy I said hey. How many people do you think Shrek is killed? <laughs> At least 10,000. <laughs> At least 10,000. Wow. That is amazing. At least 10,000. I'm pretty convinced we can get to 350 subs today if you guys really try. If we really try, I, I bet if you believe we can do it. I believe we can do it. We just all have to believe. It's like Tinkerbell. If you believe... I think we're just gonna sack these two spirits to make an emblem. I don't know what's going on right now. This is really... I feel like this match should not be taking this long. You just slam your guys into my guys, and then we just have guys that slam into each other. It's really... It's not It's not complex. Oh, God. 
Why? Thank you. Air, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Ooh, I did not share it yesterday. Maybe too much laughs because of my... Yeah, that's definitely possible. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, my God. want to cry Oh boy. This is only game two as well. Like, we have another game if I win this, so. And I'm really a lucky guy. This is from a Halloween horror episode, isn't it? A Treehouse of Horror episode? It's in there again! That's fantastic. Of course, now our video is going to get demonetized due to, uh... Due to, due to, due to 20th Century Fox is going to be like, Sorry, buddy, I saw I saw you had those, those Simpson clips on your video. Well... If you guys are watching on YouTube, I apologize. Unfortunately, I have no way to skip past this, so. Oh my god. What are these clips you guys keep sending me? Ray Parker Jr. Here we go with Ghostbusters. <laughs> what? What? What even is that? Oh dear. Oh dear. Just around the internet. Oh boy. So how you guys doing? You guys uh you guys come here a lot? Oh, McGimp with the four months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. This is how much your friendship means to me. I appreciate that. Your friendship is also important to me. Just around the internet. Remember that time we won because our opponent was just like, you know what? My internet is terrible. Hunter, you gotta chill out. I don't know what you want. You went out like an hour and a half ago. Let me sleep in your bed. Yeah, probably not. I'm gonna I'm gonna that's gonna be a hard pass for me. Opponent got struck by lightning three times. Lucky, 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 lucky. Hunter is Hunter Hunter is the Hunter is literally the dog that's yes. Oh boy. All right. So, uh, well, well, just hit the microphone and it came right at me. Uh our opponent's last action was at 4:27. It is 4:33. In 4 minutes they lose the game. It's a good amount of time. Put Hunter on your lap. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work is the way you think it works. Hunter is not 6'5". 
That doesn't make any sense. Sometimes your jokes just fall flat. It's rare. It's rare, but they do. It happens. <clears throat> Put me on your lap. Okay, this is... It's going to take more than four subscription months to, to get to that point, I think. I bet we can get there, though. I believe in us. I can wait. <laughs> that's, all I ever, that's, that's all I ever wanted to hear. Uh, the opponent has... Well, has they have seven minutes in game time, but if they don't make an action, they have uh, about two minutes. Two or three minutes now. They get ten minutes of inactivity before they, before they lose the game. And they've already used about seven of them. I, ten show hunter biddies. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yeah, so the last action was at 427. So by 437, if they don't take another action, they will lose the game. It is 435. Uh, BA85, the reason you don't get a welcome is because I don't know who is new to the stream and who isn't new to the stream i say welcome when people subscribe so if you subscribe and it pops up i give you a welcome because you're joining the the subscription group the the brood if you will um but if you just pop in the stream and and i don't know if you're new it's very hard it's very hard to keep track of what what people in the in the chat are new or, or who aren't new that seems like a really tall order that is an ambitious thing to hope that someone remembers Oh god, important Shrek facts, and uh... What is this? No, no, it's getting closed immediately. <laughs> no. Oh dear god. You are not new. Unbelievable. What's wrong with you people? Ten minute thing, IRL. Uh, this is slow play. No, no, I have ten minutes to take an action, and then you have two players taking five actions throughout the duration of a game that each take ten. Mike, I literally told you I have 130 Hearthstone packs to open. I have not opened any packs yet. All right, so it's 4:36. If they don't come back within the next minute and uh, do a thing, we win the game. Pretty sure we're gonna win the game. So, congratulations, we did it. We won a game. Obviously, it's the changes that I made. I, I don't think that that could have actually uh, performed any more admirably than it had in this match. So, yeah. Do 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 It is not raining here. It's actually nice out. It looks really nice outside. So the answer to my "you doing okay over there." Would be no. That's going to be a big no. Yeah, we actually built the deck so well that they were just like, I can't even beat this. So we won. Congratulations to us. We did it. Either way, this is the configuration I would recommend trying right now. You you basically just lose the ghostly prisons for path textiles. Um, you get to keep in Monastery Mentor because obviously I think that's a really important part of the deck. But you have a lot of more. You have more spells. You have four more. Two more of these. Uh, paths are also great with Monastery Mentor, and they don't just get to recast their creature the next turn. And uh, you have a lot more Planeswalkers now. Instead of Damnation and Day of Judgment, or uh, Wrath of God, which actually just kill your Monastery Mentor after you've built your, your Monastery Mentor army, which is nice. Um, but you have all of these one-drops to trigger Mentor, which is super nice. So you can go like Lingering Souls on three, and then Mentor on four plus one of these, or... I just like these. These are probably pet cards of mine in Modern that always seem to do better than I expected. Um, so we put those in there. We need two more sideboard cards. I would probably put one more Sony Silence because it's just a very, very good card against things like Tron and Affinity. And, you know, depending on... I think probably Collective Brutality. It's just very good against the Storm decks or, like, the Control decks. So those would be my suggestions. Uh, I think this deck actually seems pretty good now. I actually like the way it looks now. I think Knight's Whisper is also a pretty reasonable card draw in uh, in Modern. And Liliana is the only card I'm iffy about because you can't really reanimate anything. You don't really want to be putting cards in your graveyard. So she's mostly just a negative two, negative one up until the point where you um, get to ultimate her. So in that case, Liliana of the Veil might actually be better. I'm going to go with Liliana of the Veil instead. 
are there planeswalker matchups in modern i don't actually think that there's many planeswalker matchups in modern but um leyline is also a very very solid option i could see putting leylines in the sideboard as well um the problem with leyline is that you usually they want th you want three or four of them um but either way i think this list is probably going to be pretty reasonable to play i also really like vault of the archangel and westvale abbey as one ofs because i think you can pretty easily make them both do what they want to do um yeah i think this i think this 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 is probably better than we started and uh if, if you guys have any suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it sign those like and subscribe buttons you can check me out on patreon or on twitch links are in the description below and i will see you next time